Cracker Barrel is an American restaurant and gift store chain with a southern country theme. Dan Evans opened the first Cracker Barrel Old Country store in 1969, located off of Interstate 40 in Lebanon, Tennessee. It all started when Evans saw an unmet need. The interstate was expanding, but people on the move couldn't count on a quality place to stop along the way to stretch their legs, refuel, and find a good meal at a fair price. Evans had a vision to build an old country store, complete with gas pumps, to meet their needs. He wanted a place that preserved the ingredients of country life to share with travelers on the road and families that lived nearby. Why was it named Cracker Barrel, you may wonder? Well, Evans wanted to create a place where people didn't just eat, they socialized. So he modeled his restaurant after classic country stores that had big wooden barrels filled with crackers where people would gather and catch up. All the stores have actual Cracker Barrels inside, and most are topped with checkerboards so diners can play a game while they wait to be seated. All of the tools, signs, photographs, and toys that decorate the walls of Cracker Barrel are all authentic vintage items. Back when the first Cracker Barrel opened, Evans asked Don and Kathleen Singleton, a couple who ran a local antique shop, to help him decorate the space in the style of an old country store. The family has been supplying Cracker Barrel with antiques ever since. Each restaurant features unique local finds that reflect the community's history. However, every Cracker Barrel has an ox yoke and a horseshoe hanging over the front door, a traffic light over the restrooms, and a deer head over the mantel. They also keep a cook stove in the store to display products for sale. Over 10 million peg games have been made exclusively for Cracker Barrel stores, and everyone who has ever been to a Cracker Barrel knows that playing the peg game found on the table is the best way to pass the time while waiting for your food to show up. The rocking chairs that populate the front porches of every Cracker Barrel are made by the Hinkle Chair Company, a five-generation family business that was founded in 1834 in Springfield, Tennessee. Andrew Hinkle, the company's founder, was a farmer who made ladderback chairs in the off-season to supplement his income. In 1932, the family gave up farming in order to produce chairs full-time. The chairs are the top seller for every Cracker Barrel. Throughout the early 1970s, more Cracker Barrel locations were opened, all of which included gas pumps. When the oil embargo of the mid-70s hit, new locations were then built without the pumps. People were more than pleased with the cooking and the general store. By 1977, Dan Evans and his investors had opened 13 stores from Kentucky to Georgia. As Cracker Barrel expanded, 
Dan Evans wanted to redesign the logo for his growing business. Evans wanted the logo to evoke some old-timey nostalgia to go with the feel of the restaurants. He recalled the memory of an old man who sat on the front porch during summer, wearing overalls and looking remarkably like a farmer. Bill Holly, a designer from Nashville, met Evans and sketched his first draft of the Cracker Barrel logo on a napkin. Flush with praise and the growing loyalty of guests with a taste for homestyle cooking, the company's expansion reached beyond the front porch and was listed on the stock exchange in 1981. It grew consistently through the 1980s and 1990s attaining a $1 billion market value by 1992. In 1993, Cracker Barrel's revenue was nearly twice that of any other family restaurant. Between 1997 and 2000, the number of Cracker Barrels increased to more than 420 locations. Today, Cracker Barrel has 664 restaurants in 45 states. Rising above America's interstate highways, a familiar sign greets travelers and local communities alike. It's famous for all-you-can-eat biscuits, tabletop peg games, and a general store that sells everything from throwback toys to vintage candy. When Cracker Barrel first opened in 1969, the goal was simple. The key to their success was home cooking and a feeling of the past. Even the cornbread was made from scratch, and that practice still continues today. So is anyone else in the mood for some chicken and dumplings now? I know I am. <laughs>